all too common. I just get a phone call from a uh, sales guy for a patio cover uh, deal in Texas, and they want to do a good thing. They want to help a uh, Navy SEAL in a wheelchair get a good deal, a discount on a patio cover. I took the call and verified that guy was not a SEAL. And he was so nice, he gave me his phone number, so we're going to call John and see what his uh, story is. Hello, John. Calling from uh, Patio Covers. How are you? Okay, yourself? Yeah, I'm doing fine, sir. Uh, I'm doing fine. Tracy just called me. There, there's a mix-up on the sketchy scent, okay? The reason I called you, uh, uh, I don't know who's who, who's what, or whatever, okay? But... Uh, we're going on on this thing, and he keeps changing things on me. You know, we signed up for six posts. That's what I wanted. He sent me a drawing for three posts. Uh, he's taking it off the station board, and I told him I wanted to bring it in under the soffit, which we all went over without any problems on this. I don't. I, I, I just don't understand what's going on. Um, and he told I'm me sorry. he was going to bring over his, a main worker. First he told me when, it probably Wednesday. Now he's telling me Friday, which is I don't care to see if he can do what I want to do. Well, you know, you know, like I said, I'm ready to go. I can get done what I want to get done. That's right, sir. I think the uh, yeah. holdup is... Uh... I was a uh, bosun mate in the Navy who just wanted to help out in uh, the veterans uh, the veteran status, sir. So, uh, could you tell me a little bit about the time in service, sir? My time in service? Yes, sir. You know, I served 59 to 69, got hit in 1967, spent two years and one day in the hospital. Uh, get put back together again. I was medically retired. I took a Navy retirement, not a VA retirement. And uh, that's about it, really. I, you know, I, I just got hit and on and stuff. And I don't talk much about it or anything like that. You know, I, that's my information on the deal. You know, I, uh, well, I was in the Navy. I taught electronics at the Naval Academy before the, the SEALs, because back when they first started the SEALs, which they did for Vietnam, you had to be UDT qualified first, which I was UDT qualified under water demolition team. And then you had to apply to get uh, for the Navy SEALs if you were UDT, which I got accepted. But the Navy, uh, the Academy held me till the end of the term. So I didn't make one of the first teams. I was in the third class. So. That's about it, really. Uh, you know, I don't know what else to tell you on it because I just don't talk much. Uh, even with my wife or anybody, I don't talk much about it. No, I, uh, I can't. I, 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 I try to leave as much of that as I could. Oh, I got out of the hospital. The last six months I was in there, we had to go to psychiatrists to get rehabilitated to civilian life, and I just, you know, try to. Forget mostly about it. You know, I've got a, enough memory by walking and trying to. Oh, I can't do much physically anymore. So, anyway, that's that's about it, really. Uh, you so, said the uh, third training class. What would that have been? So, uh, uh, that's about all I, I I know I can tell you. Uh, I'm you know, sorry. You had said something, it, sir, about a third training class. That was your SEAL training class? Yeah, yeah. Because you had to be UD3, UDT certified first on the water demolition team. Then, then you can volunteer for SEALs. That way you went into more combat training, more whatever, okay? Did you have a, uh, a UDT training class number you went through? Probably doing the records. I don't remember all that stuff. I don't know what, uh, why. I, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Been a long time, I guess. Well, you tell, you, you tell I got out in 69. That's almost 50 years ago, you know. Oh, that's right. And uh, what UDT All team right. did you serve at, sir? Uh, well, I can't even tell you, John. I don't know. I have to get... I, I would have to go through my records and stuff. I, no, I'm just wanting to make I sure we treat our veterans uh, appropriately. How about a SEAL team? What SEAL team did you serve at in Vietnam when you got three. three. Three? SEAL team three. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, headquarter, headquarter out of Cornola, California. Okay, that was the main headquarter. Commander Slaughter was my commander. I'm sorry, sir. What was that? Commander Slaughter was my commander. Oh, how about that? Fantastic. And how long were you in SEALs before you got hurt? Uh, nine months, I guess. Yeah, I, you know, I, I just don't like to go all over this stuff. It, oh, I know. I, I know. lost too many. I lost too many of my friends. My best friend that I went to, I lost. I, I just, I, I just, my hair started standing up, and I, I've already got. To, well, you understand psychologically. Yeah, you understand. You know the uh, position there. We want to do right by our veterans, but you know there's some guys out there that would take advantage of that uh, generosity. So we just. Well, I've got all the disability papers. I've got the cards. I've got the wheelchairs. I've got everything. That's you know. Fine. You understand the position, though. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, I got disabled veterans on my truck and everything else. I'm not trying to take advantage of anybody. I'm paying what I'm supposed to be paying. I'm not asking for anything special. I think they're... Uh, I'm they're, doing anybody else. They're considering a, a veteran's discount uh, for that, for your disability being a Navy SEAL. Well, I, I, I mean, I've got all the paperwork. I, you know, my license plate says disabled veteran. I've got a military retirement card disabled. I don't know That's what okay. else they, uh, people need, you know. Wow. I didn't even ask for that. Well, in today's, uh, you, know, you know, apparently that came up somewhere that you were a disabled SEAL and every that set everybody back and they wanted to make sure you were taken care of. So whether you ask for it or not, that's what they are uh, wanting to do for you, sir. Does that make well, sense? Well, you know, it, it, it makes sense, but it doesn't matter, you know. But it's all in the past, and I try to keep it there, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. So uh, you were shot as a SEAL, and that what's uh, put you in the wheelchair, sir? Uh, shrapnel. We don't know what got us, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I got shrapnel in the knee, back, shoulder. Uh, we just lost our power here. You uh, it sounds you like know, a... I'm not... Sounds like a hell of a gunfight you guys were in. Yeah, and, and, and like my wife saying, I'm, I'm starting to cry, and I don't need you to do this, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I just wanted to tell you just uh, one thing, and we'll, we'll work all this out. SEAL Team 3 was okay. commissioned. SEAL Team 3 was commissioned in 1983. I'm sorry. SEAL Team 3 was commissioned in 1983. The only two SEAL teams that served in Vietnam were Team 1 and Team 2. I'm a retired Navy, Navy SEAL. No. Are you retired Navy? I'm a retired Navy SEAL, sir, with access to the database, and your name isn't showing up as ever being a Navy SEAL. Uh, I'm sorry. I got... I, yeah, we'll, we'll just forget everything. I don't need this, Okay. All right, yeah. my wife's saying this is enough. This is enough, okay? You might want to get polished up on your claims before you start claiming a team that wasn't even commissioned 10 years till 10 years after the yeah. Vietnam War, sir, when you start telling your stories. Okay. Not, Anything else, uh, John? Whatever you want to say. Nope, that's it. All right. Sorry you lost all those buddies over there. His... his <laughs> his wife was sitting right there what a clown these guys I get so many it just caught me 
today it just today it just really uh, bothers me I don't know what that guy said but they're trying to hook him up and my response back to them was how many times police officers call me at the scene they've got you pulled over and you drop the seal bomb on them and they desperately want to hook up a veteran. They, those cops are the most patriotic, flag-waving guys, and so many of them have served themselves, and they want to hook you up, but they want to verify that claim. And they're going to take care of you, and they call me right from there. And I go, no, no. He was never a Navy SEAL. Now you're going to get it. Now you're going to get it. So I try to do my best. These guys were hooking him up. He dropped the seal bomb, come in there in a wheelchair. He probably is disabled, perhaps, but I don't know. He said something about the Navy retirement, not a VA disability retirement or some shit. Who knows what happened or how long he's been married or what his game is. But he dropped that seal bomb on them down there, and they were going to hook him up. And uh, somebody just didn't buy the claim. It was an uh, Army vet that owns that, and something just didn't sound right. Uh, served in Iraq, and he uh, contacted me. And, of course, SEAL Team 3. Lost all his fucking buddies. I'm just, I've been trying to decompress here with my family and get all this out of my system a little bit, and I'll tell you what, that shit runs up one side of me day and down the other. It's just not a good day to be pulling that and scamming people. He went in there with that, and he tried to get that out of them. I don't give a shit what he says. That's not what the other guy's saying. God damn, man. Oh. oh, you should feel that damn thing. I am just blistered. Motherfucker, man. Motherfucker. Fuck me fucking clowns. Team three. Team three. What an asshole. Don't fucking argue with me, motherfucker. One, two, and three. Eat a bag of shit. Yeah, sorry about that. The guy, apparently, my supervisor, who is this veteran, says that, you know, this, this, his whole house is littered with metals and all the all the stuff, you know, everything you, you would normally see, I guess, in an old retired veteran's house. Anyway, but uh, this guy's kind of been creating issues and, you know, he's calling and changing his stories and wanting this and wanting that. And my supervisor, long story short, just gave him the deal of the century because he felt bad for the guy. And I said, well, let's stop right there and let me take another avenue first and then we'll, we'll go from there. Felt bad for him going to give him a discount because he's uh, he in a wheelchair and a Navy SEAL. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. It never stops with these guys. And good for you guys, good for your boss there catching this stuff because there's no shortage of guys that will stand in line, trounce on his service in Iraq, and try to get a free ride for some shit they never did. He's a clown, and there's no fool like an old fool. He's been at that for a long time. Don't dare feel sorry for that guy. The line of shit he just spread on me out here about UDT and SEALs. No, uh, yeah, him, him, fuck him. No, no, he's not going to get it. I, I, you know, that, I, I kind of, it didn't feel right. So I, I appreciate you going to your lane to, to verify that for us. You're very yeah. welcome, bro. Very honorable what you do. And same with you guys. Don't mind me, bro. I I, I don't mind uh, exposing these guys, but it's honorable for you guys down there to want to do a good thing for a veteran, you know, flag-waving, patriotic Texas guys, and uh, that's where this company is, Texas, right? Yes, sir. Houston, Texas. Yeah. So good for you guys. You're the ones that should be applauded, and you for... Uh, Taking the time to contact me and find out. So, uh, yep, you do it anytime, bro. Anytime. All right. Appreciate it, Don. Have right, a good man. one. You too. See you, bro. Bye. Bye. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Oh, boy. What a fucking clown. <laughs> Ugh.